Hello, we're Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you for being here with me today. We will be looking at what is the next major change coming up in your love life for you. So this is super exciting, Water Signs. We'll see what's coming up for you. Um, I'll be using a couple of decks and we'll look at the overall energy um, and see what's coming up. What are the next big changes for you in your love life? Okay, let's pull out a card and see what's coming up for you. Water signs. I'm going to go with this one. Okay, you've got the Magician. Okay, strong Aries energy coming up around you here, Water Signs. So the Magician is a solid figure. Okay, it's, a, it's, it's all about independence. It's about solitude. So a lot of you, this is like you're coming out of a breakup maybe. You're enjoying the single life. The Magician, you know, you're getting attention or you're giving attention to others. Um, but I feel like the magician is a bit of a like a playing energy because the magician is the trickster. I get that there's some lessons that you have to learn right now. So the changes that are coming up for you essentially are there's some lessons about your independence that are coming up about what you want out of your love life. Right. Um, but it's like you have to be alone or you have to be single to to learn these lessons right now. Um, water signs. Um, I feel like with the magician coming up, it's like I said, it's the trickster. So I feel like there's, you're either playing people, okay, to get what you want, or people are playing you. Um, again, it could be like a light and playful energy. You might be like being open to different connections, different people, for example. Um, but the magician doesn't always reveal his secrets, right? He keeps them to himself. So I feel like this next phase of your love life that's coming up is one where you're sort of keeping things light not too intense. Um, and I feel like with the magician card, you're doing a lot of new things. I'm seeing you doing a lot of new things because the magician is like that newness. The number one is a new beginning. So some of you do have a new love connection coming up with the magician. Again, it's maybe not as deep as you would like it, but it's playful, right? It's playful. It's light. It might be something that you want right now. And it might be something that you need um, right now in your life. Let's suss it out a little bit further and see what else is coming up. But there's definitely a new chapter with the magician. Um, to be honest, I feel like it's more about internal changes rather than anything else. Okay. Okay. So Aries has come up twice next to you. We've got Aries and Pisces. So you might have these signs coming up around you. Um, okay. You're figuring out what you want. All right. I feel like Queen of Swords tells me you might be talking to someone. She's sometimes seen as a Gemini. So it could be a Gemini you might be talking to. It could be an Aries or a Pisces that's coming up around you. Again, keeping it light and not too intense. The world card is telling me you're going to put yourself out there in the world. You're going to do things maybe you haven't done before here, water signs. So you might date international people. You might find um, romance on travel. There might be something here because the world connects you uh, connects you with, with people that you wouldn't normally be connected to, right? So um, I feel like the world is like you being more open-minded, okay? So the world is also perception. I don't know if this is closure here as well. Some of you are either, you'll, you'll find that inside yourself, you'll want closure from a previous relationship um, or what else could it be? Um, I feel like you, someone might want closure from you, okay, because it's the ending of a cycle, so to speak. But with the ending of a cycle, we've got that new beginning, right? So especially if you're coming out of a relationship, there may be someone here around you uh, that you might be interested in. But look, you've come up as a seven of cups here, water sign. So the seven of cups is like um, feeling lost, feeling confused, trying to sort out your emotions, okay? There's, there's a lot that you're maybe... Um, confused about and I feel like this next chapter for you is figuring out what you want okay because you might be in an energy where you don't know what you want right um you have society coming up with the emperor telling you to do x y and z it might not be someone that you want um something that you want so queen of swords seven of cups tells me you have a lot of thinking and sorting to do I see you talking to other people with the queen of swords I feel like you might be connecting with people that are very different um but in, in terms of romantic, you know, you've got the page of cups. So I feel like pages can be tied into lessons. So I feel like there might be some minor connections, several minor connections around you, and you'll take something from each connection. It's hard to say how many, 
but I feel like with several signs here, it could be with several different people. And there's something that each can teach you, or it's something that you'll realize about your about yourself. All right. So you might date one kind of person and you might find, you know, okay, I don't really like this kind of person. You know, we're not connecting. They're different. They're, they're too different to me. So you'll drop them. You might move on to someone else. Um, Again, might not be your type, might be sort of out of your comfort zone um, or something that you want to try. And again, you'll be like, okay, well, I don't like this. And then you try another person or another connection and you find that that's better for you. It is a bit of an emotional roller coaster. You can see these waves behind the Page of Cups. So I feel like you're coming into this emotional energy where there's some highs and there's some lows. Um, not as stable. Okay, emotionally, I'm not seeing you as stable um, as you want to be. The magician dazzles, but he only dazzles us for so long. So I feel like something may fizzle out here. All right, it could be a relationship, could be a connection, it could be something that you wanted, and then all of a sudden you realize, wow, this is not what I want. Like you've been in a relationship, and suddenly you're like, no, I want to be single. Or you know, you've been out of a relationship, you've broken up, and then suddenly you know you're finding you're feeling empty, or you're feeling different, or these, these new emotions are going to come up with that, um, the Magician card. But like I said, it is a message of lots of firsts that's coming up. So, and, and also the Magician needs to work on himself and his talent. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of inner growth. And um, that's, that's really good because we need that. We need that growth. We need that change. Um, you know, uh, Pisces, you've come up here. So I feel like you know, to come up in this reading, I think it's obviously saying something um, that Pisces energy is, is, is quite a sensitive energy. So you may find yourself, water signs, feeling quite sensitive where you're at, okay? Feeling hypervigilant, hypersensitive. Um, and that's because you're, you, you're you not really, not sure what you want. You have an idea, but they're very different ideas coming from different lifestyles. And it's like, you can't have both. You have to choose here, water signs. I know, I know it sucks when we have that choice, but sometimes you just have to choose. Um, and I feel like you're going through that process, that filtering process. Um, yeah. And I, I feel like that's, that's going to be most important. That's where, that's where the importance is going to be here for you. Um, water signs. That's where you'll place the importance, I should say. Okay, so we've got the Magician and the Emperor. You might, this is an Emperor Magician dynamic. Magician is there to entertain the Emperor. So I don't know if you're sort of looking for connections to like entertain, um, but there's a lot more entertainment coming your way, um, for example, in your love life. So maybe a lot more dating or a lot more romantic trips with a loved one, for example. Um, but be careful because the emperor demands a lot and the magician is like there to please. So it's a dynamic where one of you is doing the pleasing, the other one is just like there along um, for the ride, there to enjoy it. So dynamics are going to be different here, water signs, but I'm going to kick on with your extended um, uh, as to like the advice for each sign. So I'll start off with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, and I'll look at the advice for you coming into this exciting new chapter. So um, I'll leave it there, water signs. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll be in touch soon. Bye for now.